My excess weight and my lack of attractiveness is one of the main reasons I've never cheated on my wife. <laughs> it's not the number one reason. The number one reason is because I love her very much, but... Thank you, but a close second... <laughs> ..is lack of opportunity. I, I mean, it's... <laughs> there is no point in denying that. It's easy to be faithful when you're repulsive, isn't it? I mean, I can't <laughs> even fantasise about another woman, cos that fantasy is ruined by the fact that in that fantasy I would have to be there. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a massive turn-off. It doesn't matter how hot the woman is, eventually my gelatinous bulk has to rock up. So. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to fantasise about a woman, I first got to fantasise about six months of intensive cardio. Do you know what I mean? like, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> this is what I find helpful about Facebook, right? What I find useful about it is it enables you to identify which of your friends are twats, basically. Because <laughs> what happens is when your friends speak to you, they just tell you what they think you want to hear or they sort of like, keep their real opinions to themselves. But on Facebook, they post up what they really think, and then you think, oh, right, yeah, no, you are a bellend. Like, I, I didn't know. I suspected, but now I know. It's when you find out which of your friends are racist, homophobic, sexist, misogynistic, Islamophobic. My wife gets really offended. She's like, oh, God, I hate it. I love it. <laughs> I gravitate towards it. I start asking her more questions. I want to know exactly how idiotic these morons are, right? One of my wife's friends, she put up a Britain First picture, right? Bam, the burqa, right? Had a picture of a woman in a burqa. It said, this is disgusting. If you want this to stop, click like. Because that is how <laughs> this woman thinks that legislation works, right? They're basically, <laughs> Theresa May will look at that and go, shit, we're going to have to ban the burqa. <laughs> well, it's got 700 likes and I've just put it on Lad Bible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, straight away, right, my wife defriended her. She said it's racist. Now, I don't know if she really thought that or she was doing it out of solidarity with me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not Muslim, but I think she's just trying to show that she's down with the Browns. You know? <laughs> anyway, straight away, she defriended her. Fuck that, mate. I added her. <laughs> I sent her a message, I don't like Muslims either. Let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but it does make me nervous. It makes me nervous, cos I think, shit, you know, what does this mean for my family? I'm married to a white woman, do you know what I mean? I'm telling you that because it's important for the next bit. I'm not showing off. Right? <laughs> but I'm not one of these ethnic minorities that remain within their own communities. I'll move to your neighbourhood, I'll take one of your jobs, I'll shag one of your women. <laughs> and I will bring the property prices right down. That's just how I operate. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm having more children just to piss off the neighbours, do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> no, but one, on, mate! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the minority soon, won't you? This carries on. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw a condom, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. If I can't afford it, I'll just claim. <laughs> But it does make me nervous, cos I think I'm in a multicultural family. What the hell's going on? I mean, UKIP got a million votes in the last election. I was thinking, Jesus, what does that mean for my family? And then I was realising I, I'm misjudging UKIP. I don't know anything about them. I'm banding them in with the EDL and Britain First. I thought, I don't know anything about them. I need to educate myself. I need to find out about them. So I did. I went to the UKIP website, checked them out. Do you know what? Very nice website. <laughs> Nice colour scheme, easy to navigate menus, they've got some values. <laughs> Start looking at the policies, I'm thinking, there's not a lot of shit here I disagree with. You know, they want to <laughs> take tax off the minimum wage, I'm in complete agreement with that. I'll get to the end of it, I read all the policies. I thought, fuck. I think I'm UKIP. <laughs> <laughs> I phoned up my mum, I said to mum, honestly, what have you really contributed? <laughs> And I'll be honest with you, Apollo, I wasn't that happy with her answers. That's the honest truth. <laughs> she might have to go. <laughs> Should have put more in. She is a, she is a wonderful woman, uh, my mother, but she... Um... <laughs> OK. Um, 
she doesn't actually consider me to be a proper Asian. This is a sad state of affairs in my life. My mum calls me a coconut. I don't know if you've heard this term. <laughs> don't applaud it. Brown on the outside, white on the inside. So my mum calls me, you're coconut. And, and the reason... <laughs> the reason my mum calls me a coconut is because originally Sri Lankan, my mother tongue is Tamil, and I cannot speak it. And the reason I cannot speak it is because my mum and dad never spoke it to me <laughs> when I was growing up, and now my mum blames me <laughs> for not being able to speak it. So she'd come up to me, she'd go, and i say, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> and then she'd go, why don't you know? <laughs> because there's no Rosetta Stone Tamil. That's <laughs> what I don't know. Man. And then we'll go out, and my mum will slag me off to her friends in front of me, like I don't know what's going on, right? So I'll be stood there, she'll be at a party, she'll be going, coconut butter. Like, I know what you're saying, mum. I got the gist of what you said there. Then she'll try and code it up like some sort of special agent, right? Bounty butter. Like, I know what I'm bound is. Kinder surprise, all right, man. <laughs> Shit out. Oh, Chokai's bastard, da, da, da. all right. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? I went to Sri Lanka to try and de coconut myself, you know? <laughs> Get in touch with my heritage. And uh, we made a show about it, and. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, my mum was, was in that show. And I'll be honest with you, I massively regret her involvement. And, and let, me, <laughs> let me explain why. To get to a point where you get a TV show, it's incredibly difficult. Right? You start off as a stand-up, you're not doing rooms like this. You're doing a pub with eight people, they're facing the other way, right? <laughs> and you keep working at it, you keep working at it and eventually you get to a point where you're doing it for a career, and then eventually after that you get to a point where you get some TV. Now, it's difficult to get TV. The reason I got TV is very much thanks to uh, diversity quotas. Right? <laughs> you get two for one with me, I'm brown and I've got a lazy eye, right? So basically, <laughs> you get ethnicity and disability, right? If they ever do a Bollywood last leg, right, you're looking at the fucking host. Anyway, I got to a point where I'd pitched this show and then they, they liked the show and they said, we're going to make the show. And you go, brilliant, this is amazing, this is incredible. The hard work has paid off, the luck has come in, my dream has come true, I'm making this show, this is amazing. And then this fucking woman <laughs> sweeps in with her little cameo. Oh, you fat belly coconut bastard. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> she's a star. She's a star. I'm getting tweets, your mum's funnier than you. <laughs> Where's your mum on tour? Where's your mum on tour? <laughs> Never done a gig in her life, right? She's getting separate offers, mate. I've got a phone call. BBC Asian Network, will your mum be an agony aunt? <laughs> I didn't even check with her. I said, no, fuck her. There is no <laughs> way. I'm letting her get a career off my back, man. Are you <laughs> shitting me? God, it feels good to get that off my chest, man. <laughs> Thanks.